Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video on the Oblivion Cities, what makes them special. And today's city I want to talk about is Bruma. Bruma, I think, is... it's a very interesting city for me because it's where my first character lives and murders everyone. That's what he does. He just murders absolutely everyone. Um, so Bruma. Bruma is a very important city to the Thieves Guild. It's where your first fence goes, and it's the first place that you actually meet the, the Grey Fox at. And it's also the place of a Dark Brotherhood quest where you kill a guy with his mounted Minotaur head. Um, Bruma's weird. It's built on the side of a mountain, and it's also cold there, so all of the houses and stuff are kind of made a little bit underground, so a lot of the houses you go in them and the first thing you do is walk down some steps. You know, they're built into the ground to keep warm. Um, the lady there, uh, sorry, the, I believe she's the Count. The Count there gives you a very, very cool quest where you go to grab these ice tears, the tears of the savior, and you have to go through this kind of weird, you know, you gotta solve this puzzle to find, uh, this cave which has a really cool locked door, and then you have to gather these ice shards. And what's cool about it is, around this guy's frozen body, you will take frost damage. So you have to make sure that you find the ice crystals. And then, also, um, there's really, you know, not a lot to go on for Bruma for me. I mean, there's a really boring Mage's Guild quest in Bruma. The, uh, the, the one to get you into the Arcane University is really stupid. But, you also, um, the Bruma Mage's Guild actually gets attacked by necromancers and burn down, so it does have that going for it. Um, other than that, I really don't have a lot um, on Bruma. I mean, the house you can get there is okay. I don't really like it. I think there's better houses, and I don't do a lot of quests in Bruma. I mean, there's it's next to the Blades, the Hall of the Blades, but you do more stuff at the Hall of the Blades rather than Bruma. You use Bruma as a staging ground, I will say, for collecting all of the guards that you get from saving all the cities, and then you have to defend Bruma in the main quest. But when you defend Bruma in the main quest, it doesn't quite feel like you're defending Bruma. It feels like where the Great Gate opens, you're defending the area, if that makes sense. You're just, it doesn't feel like you're kind of defending Bruma. But that's just my take on it, guys. Um, aid for Bruma, one of the worst quests in the game. That's what Bruma's, I guess, known for for me. Let me know what you think about Bruma in the comments below. I mean, it's very snowy around Bruma, very unique because it's the only place with snow. I think if there was another snow city, Bruma might have some competition for best snow city. It's one out of one. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you at the next episode, stream, vlog, or Instagram post of whatever I said to make.